start of week three and it's German prom today. And when I say German prom, I don't know if it's actually prom because it's their first school dance ever. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready and pretend like it's prom because that's just more fun to say. Those kids. <laughs> It's never hurt in the best way ever before than this. That didn't make sense. It's the day after the dance and I only have five days left. I feel like the version of myself here is me, but the best version of myself. And let me explain. Back at home, I feel like everyone knows me. I'm very predictable. Like I have to fall into this preconceived notion of what the people around me think I am. But here I have this tremendous fresh start. I can be incredibly extroverted. Like last night on the dance floor, I literally, I was like, I was reeling everyone in. I started moshing and I was dancing with random strangers. It was just so fun and so freeing. And I felt so exuberant and energetic and like me. And I just think back home, yeah, I would do that, but not as often, not as willingly. I think that this trip is making me very excited for college and for a fresh start. I feel so stylish, free, just myself here. I've never been so sad to leave somewhere. <laughs> I feel like there's a timer that's just ticking down until I have to go and I'm very upset about it. I keep trying to remind myself to live in the present that the reason why this is going to hurt so much is because I've made such good friends. But at the same time, I'm so upset. I met this one girl named Hannah and I've known her for 48 hours, I think. I feel like we are already such good friends. And then I just have to turn around and leave and I don't know if I'm ever going to see her again. Literally any of these people. And I'm so upset about that because I truly think that the highlight of this trip is meeting all of these wonderful people and becoming friends with all of them and getting to know them. Dance was super fun, but I truly think the connections that I've made, the relationships that have grown, that has topped every single thing of this trip. I'll have to say goodbye very soon. That was a very downer speech, but today I am going to Kesselfest, which is a music festival. This weekend is really going to be go, 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 go. I'm very tired, but that's okay. I'm only here once. That's what I gotta keep telling myself. So let's do it. ride a bike everywhere which is probably one of the biggest differences culturally and today i rode my bike in these beautiful white pants and then look and this is better this used to be worse so now i have to clean it off but i have hope because it looks so much better so while we do that let's sit and chat can i get this please 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 ow let's try it with this yes Okay, I'm back. I got it open. It only took me like 20 minutes. It's fine. Anyways, today we shouted again. We spoke at schools. So we spoke to English classes and they had a bunch of questions for us. And obviously, you know, the school system is incredibly different, but I got so many questions about guns, which, yeah, I feel like that is what America is known for in the international world. Guns, I think Trump probably is a big one. People who are homophobic, racist, all these terrible things. There are definitely people who are like that in the United States, but it made me very sad, I think, to see that so many people just had this like preconceived notion of that's what an American is. And yes, don't get me wrong, like there are certainly a lot of people who are like that. I, I hope that I could like break some of the stereotypes because I talked a lot about how a lot of people just give up hope in our government. I got very deep. Maybe I was boring them, maybe I wasn't, that's okay. And I got the seventh graders Instagrams. So they were like, oh, can I take a picture with you? I want your Instagram. And they were so cute. And then when we were walking around the school after, they were all like, oh, hi, Grace. And like all of the fifth graders know who I am now. It, it was so cute. I feel like I'm going to miss this more than I want to tell myself. 